There are 27 abilities in the game, but which ability is the best? Watch to find out. I've done this video in the past, but now I'm going to be doing it with implants. Let's go. And if you do enjoy the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers so I can start doing giveaways. Let's go. So I'm going to be doing 16 different tests. And for each test, first place gets 8 points. Second place gets 4 points. Third place gets 2 points. And fourth to 10th place gets 1 point. In the ability with the most points wins. So first the damage test. I'm going to be ranking based on how much damage the ability deals. So Slingshot deals 29,300 damage so he gets 9th place. Bastion deals 29,500 damage so he gets 8th place. Arachnos deals 45,000 damage so he gets 7th place. Redox deals 59,000 damage so he gets 6th place. Tango deals 69,000 damage so he gets 5th place. Gatecrasher deals 78,000 damage so he gets 4th place. Killshot deals 86,000 damage so he gets 3rd place. Place. Onyx deals 90,000 damage so he gets second place and Cheetah deals 148,000 damage so he gets first place. So Cheetah gets 8 points, Onyx gets 4 points, Killshot gets 2 points and the rest of the mechs get 1 point. And here's the leaderboard. Next is a damage boost test. I'm going to be ranking based on how much damage boost the ability gives. So Stalker's ability gives him an 80% damage boost so he gets third place. Brickhouse's ability also gives him an 80% damage boost but his ability gives his team 130% damage boost so he gets second place and Orion's ability gives him 150% damage boost so he gets first place. So Orion gets 8 points, Brickhouse gets 4 points and Stalker gets 2 points. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the range test. I'm going to be ranking based on how far the ability goes. These don't include abilities where it moves the mech. So Puma's ability goes 25 meters, making him 5th place. Arachnos' ability goes 39.6 meters, making him 4th place. Panther's ability goes 46 meters, making him 3rd place. Onyx's ability goes 130 meters, making him 2nd place. Gatecrasher's ability goes 299 meters, making him 1st place. And Orion's ability goes 299 meters, making him 1st place as well. So Orion and Gatecrasher's Crasher get 8 points, Onyx gets 4 points, Panther gets 2 points, and Arachnos and Puma get 1 point. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the radius test. I'm going to be ranking based on how big the ability's radius is. So Onyx's radius is 11.9 meters, making him 12th place. Aegis's radius is 13 meters, making him 11th place. Brickhouse's ability is 13.2 meters, making him 10th place. MD's radius is 14 meters, making him 9th place. Tango's radius is 15 meters, making him 8th place. Cheetah's radius is 15.8 meters, making him 7th place. Slingshot's radius is 16.8 meters, making him 6th place. Killshot's radius is 16.8 meters, making him 6th place. Place as well. Surge's radius is 19.5 meters, making him fifth place. Gatecrasher's radius is 26 meters, making him fourth place. Bastion's radius is 39 meters, making him third place. Redox's ability is 39.6 meters, making him second place. And Zephyr's radius is 45 meters, making him first place. And Guardian's radius is 45 meters, making him first place as well. I know Guardian's ability doesn't go out in a radius, but it goes really wide, so I'm going to consider it a radius. So Zephyr and Guardian get eight points. Redox gets four points. Points, Bastion gets two points, and the rest besides Aegis and Onyx get one point. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the tank test. I'm gonna be ranking based on how much damage the ability can tank. So Juggernaut's ability takes 41,000 damage, making him 6th place. Ares' ability takes 57,000 damage, making him 5th place. Bastion's ability takes 60,000 damage, making him 4th place. Sentinel's ability takes 74,000 damage, making him 3rd place. Puma's ability takes 88,000 damage, making him 2nd place. Redeemer's ability takes infinite damage, making him 1st place. Aegis' ability takes infinite damage, making him 1st place as well. And Panther's ability takes infinite damage, making him 1st place also. So Panther, Aegis, and Redeemer get 8 points, Puma gets 4 points, Sentinel gets 2 points, and Bastion, Ares, and Juggernaut get 1 point. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the heal test. I'm going to be ranking based on how much HP the ability can heal. So Stalker's ability heals 20% of his HP per kill. So Fully Max Stalker will heal 39,000 damage. And MD will heal himself 61,000 HP and he'll heal his team 122,000 HP. So MD gets 8 points and Stalker gets 4 points. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the speed boost test. I'm going to be ranking based on how much speed boost the ability gives. So Shadow's ability gives him a 35 percent speed boost making him second place. Eclipse's ability gives him a 35 percent speed boost making him second place as well. And Paragon's ability gives him a 49 percent speed boost making him first place. So Paragon gets eight points and Eclipse and Shadow get four points. And here's the leaderboard. 
Next is System Crash Test. There's only one mech in the game that can System Crash and that's Guardian. So he's first place and gets 8 points. And here's the leaderboard. Next is Stealth Test. I'm going to be ranking based on how long the ability Stealth is. So Surge has a Stealth of 5.2 seconds making him 3rd place. Tango has a Stealth of 6 seconds making him 2nd place. Eclipse has a Stealth of 15.6 seconds making him 1st place. And Shadow has a Stealth of 15.6 seconds making him 1st place as well. So Shadow and Eclipse get 8 points, Tango gets 4 points, and Surge gets 2 points. And here's the leaderboard. Next is the shield piercing test. I'm going to be ranking based on how much damage the ability can pierce through shields. So there is only 3 abilities in the game that can pierce through shields. Redox's ability pierces 59,000 damage making him 3rd place. Gatecrasher's ability pierces 78,000 damage making him 2nd place. And Orion's ability makes him and his teammates pierce 128% of their damage. So they can technically pierce infinite damage making him 1st place. So Orion gets 8 points, Gatecrasher gets 4 points, and Redox gets 2 Two points. And here's the updated leaderboard. Next is the debuff removal test. I'm going to be ranking based on how many debuffs the ability can remove from itself. So Guardian can't remove any debuffs from himself, but he can remove debuffs from his teammates making him second place. And Redeemer can remove all debuffs from himself making him first place, and Eclipse makes himself immune to all debuffs. So he's technically removing all debuffs making him first place as well. So Eclipse and Redeemer get 8 points, and Guardian gets 4 points. And here's the leaderboard. Next, the jump test. I'm going to be ranking based on how high the ability can make the mech jump. So Tango's jump is small making him 2nd place and Lancer's jump is much bigger making him 1st place. So Lancer gets 8 points and Tango gets 4 points. And here's the updated leaderboard. Next, the stun test. I'm going to be ranking based on how long the ability stun is. Bastion's ability has a 3 second stun. The ability duration implant doesn't work on him so that's why it's 3 seconds and he gets 3rd place. And Zephyr's stun is 3.9 seconds making him 2nd place and Surge's stun is 5.2 seconds making him first place. So Surge gets 8 points, Zephyr gets 4 points, and Bastion gets 2 points. And here's the updated leaderboard. Next is the stasis test. I'm going to be ranking based on how long the ability slow is. So Orion's slow is 4.98 seconds making him 4th place. Tango's slow is 7 seconds making him 3rd place. Redox's slow is 8.4 seconds making him 2nd place. And Panther's slow is 15.6 seconds making him 1st place. So Panther gets 8 points. Redox gets 4 points, Tango gets 2 points, and Orion gets 1 point. And here's the updated leaderboard. Next, the cycle time test. The cycle time is the ability's cooldown plus duration. I think this is more accurate than just the cooldown. Redox's cycle is 11.6 seconds making him 10th place. Guardian cycle is 10.5 seconds making him 9th place. Redeemer's cycle is 9.8 seconds making him 8th place. Surge's cycle is 8.9 seconds making him 7th place. Zephyr's cycle is 8.6 seconds making him 6th place. Ares' cycle is 8.4 seconds making him 5th place. Gatecrasher's cycle is 7 seconds making him 4th place. Onyx's cycle is 7 seconds making him 4th place as well. Tango cycles 4.9 seconds making him 3rd place. Slingshot cycles 4.2 seconds making him 2nd place. Killshot cycles 4.2 seconds making him 2nd place as well. Cheetah cycles 4.2 seconds making him 2nd place also. And Lancer cycles 3.5 seconds making him 1st place. So Lancer gets 8 points. Cheetah, Killshot, and Slingshot get 4 points. Tango gets 2 points. And all the mechs in green get 1 point. And here's the updated leaderboard. And lastly is the mobility test. I'm going to be ranking based on how far the ability moves the mech forward. So Tango's ability moves him 15 meters forward making him 3rd place. Lancer's ability moves him 35 meters forward making him 2nd place. Surge's ability moves him 52.8 meters making him 1st place. Slingshot's ability moves him 52.8 meters making him 1st place as well. And Killshot's ability moves him 52.8 meters making him 1st place also. So Killshot, Slingshot, and Surge get 8 points. Lancer gets 4 points. And Tango Tango gets 2 points. So now it's the final result. Which ability will win? So in last place is Juggernaut with 1 point. In 14th place is Arachnos, Ares, and Sentinel with 2 points. In 13th place is Puma and Brickhouse with 5 points. In 12th place is Stalker and Bastion with 6 points. In 11th place is Aegis and Paragon with 8 points. In 10th place is Onyx and MD with 9 points. In 9th place is Shadow and Redox with 12 points. In 8th place is Zephyr and Cheetah with 13 points. In 
7th place is Slingshot with 14 points. In 6th place is Killshot and Gatecrasher with 15 points. In 5th place is Redeemer with 17 points. In 4th place is Panther with 18 points. In 3rd place is Eclipse, Lancer, and Surge with 20 points. In 2nd place is Guardian with 21 points. And in 1st place is Orion with 25 points. Orion definitely has the best ability in the game. He has a really good damage boost, really good range, really good shield piercing, and a decent stasis. And he also has a mark transfer which I didn't even factor in. So Orion's ability is really strong and I can see why a lot of people like using Orion. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see ya guys.